Hello guys and welcome to another episode of JavaScript. In this episode we will be discussing functions. Now in JavaScript functions allow us to assign certain values to objects. This is objects in JavaScript. So it allows us to assign certain objects in JavaScript using the function. Now the function is going to have two parameters. For example, let's give you, let's say we have function let's say we're going to see in the video or should I just say person so in this one we're going to have height name two parameters and height In JavaScript, all we do is with this function person, we're going to say this, which is a very important keyword in JavaScript, which helps us to assign values to objects, dot name is equal to name, comma, this dot age. equals to age now in JavaScript all we're doing basically is assigning the function person so we're gonna say variable we're gonna create a variable and we're gonna say let's say variable is X is equal to a new person so this person will have the name of let's say Grimes and a height of you can put whatever height so you could see me be like yes maybe it's say eight feet so basically what we're doing is we're assigning x these values the name which is grimes and the and the instead of age let's put height sorry this the height perfect so all we do is we're going to say document dot write a statement my name is plus this dot name plus and my my height is make sure the space is this dot Right. Simple. Go file. Go save. Exchange. So my name is and my height is undefined. Oh, that's tricky. So what did I do here? Variable x is new person. So I didn't put. Instead, I put this dot name. I should have put x dot name so I want to look at it one more time and see what 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 difference it made okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna assign a new variable I'm gonna assign variable I'm gonna go copy and I'm gonna paste 
Notice that I'm doing this along as I speak. So I'm going to paste, I'm going to assign this variable as y, right? Variable y, new person, grinds. And I'm going to put Grimes is the name and the height is 8. Let's see what I put Y. Let's see what happens. My name is Grimes and my height is 8. I'm going to go back again. see where I went wrong All right my name is Grimes and my height file save and my height is 8 so basically guys this is how you make objects in JavaScript I could go back and I could just experiment and stuff. So I could go back here and just say, hey, well, what if I take out this line? What if I take out this line and I X it out? And I just say my name, variable X, new person, Grimes 8. I could just probably see if I put X and see what happens. Because X is the same thing. I don't even need to make a new variable. But let's see what happens. It stays the same. Because at the end of the day, JavaScript understands the object comes from X. So we can say variable new person Grimes, which is basically the name. And you need to put the name in accordance. And the height is 8, 8 centimeters. So this dot name is name. The object this is so important. This dot height equals the height. By variable X, I'm just assigning to the, the, the person, which is the function, the name, and the height. And I could just slip it in here. I just have to put x.name and x.height, and I will get the answer to my question. So again, this is Objects, guys. Thanks a lot for listening. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Show your friends this so they can learn code. Thanks, guys.